Not even close, baby. Thank you for joining us. Everybody is bringing out their inner Houdini in today's episode of Escapes. Hit the like if you enjoy and subscribe for some more good stuff daily. Let's hop right back in with Pavlov incorporating ye old T-Rex trap. That didn't go too well. Oh, they're chipping, they're chipping. Yeah, I'm dead, I'm dead. Let me die, let me die, let me die. Oh my god, she's still mad. Chip, chip, chip. Oh my god, nice guys. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, oh my god, they're so mad. He's top watch, he's top watch. So Irelia King's team just secured Baron, but he's the only one left alive. And he's going to do whatever he can to keep it that way. And I'm not going to lie, I did not even know you could do this. And neither did the enemy team. You see Galio just casually waltz away. I don't know if he sees Faker either. There's no pings on this. Now he sees him. And now that Ari immediately goes into the Zanyas as Faker now looking for the potential play. Toby behind enemy lines. Has he gone too far is the question. As Faker is on the chase here, owner waits for him on the backside. As Toby's actually the bottom one. They flashed after the clone. That's a turret. And Jovi's getting away! He will get away from them! Unbelievable! I can't believe he gets away. They get a turret as well out of this. He has Baron Recall! He's out! He's fine! Oh. He, uh... You might think that Evolving Wings might be a better escape option, but arguably, three casts of two seconds of stealth is just as, if not even more insane for slipperiness. Looks like Rengar's team got caught mid lane, but while they're busy bickering, he's leading everybody on a wild cat chase. Beautiful juking, and that should be a dragon for their team, so get your act together and win that game. Next up, if you thought it was just Gwen chasing in Italy, <laughs> nope, we're only 16 minutes into the game, but apparently everybody decided to have a party up top. What?
killed. Hecarim secures Baron, but all the focus is on this Jinx revive. I wouldn't peg Jinx for a slippery champion, but that is specifically why Limo opted for the Nimbus Cloak. No shot, what? What? Oh là là, si je, je m'en sors. Surging Tides is the name of the game. With Nami's passive, she's moving at almost a constant 500 movement speed. And versus Blue Team's team comp, that is barely enough to slide by their lack of guaranteed CC. I think we just entered a store video. Vincent is a hardcore parkour escape artist. Looks like he hasn't been topside in a while because not a single one of these walls is on cooldown, and it shows. Side note, the further the gap he creates, the longer he gives that red buff healing to kick in. This is the tiniest thing, but look at the bottom for Bob Quinn's taste of blood cooldown. He does this cheeky little pop back for the auto and it heals him for 27 health. Keep that number in mind and then keep your eyes on his health bar. Whoa! That did not just happen! The crippling hentai and sushi addiction, so oh god. Oh my lord! Oh my god! Wow. Darius thought you were still gonna be there, so he used to Oh my stop us now. We're not back in town, know what we do. Things are about to change this evolution. Boys to shake the ground, you feel it moving. We have the revolution. Can you hear the sound?
shout out Manaflow Band for providing just enough juice to throw that intercepting box down. Next up it's Arabin, and if you want to chase this Birdmaster, you're gonna have to do it on his terms. Check out this little move. Moonlight runs out, so no vision. Arabin dips into the bush, cancels her auto, and the blast gun gets him just out of the range of the Crescent Strike. This is one fast karma. Hayapau is rocking the phase rush karma top. During her escape, her team gets destroyed 3v4, but interestingly enough, blue team can't really capitalize on it because their jungler is super thirsty for this top laner, so in the end, they only get this one turret. How greedy can one person be with their summoner spells? First, Kyrie's rocking Ignite Exhaust, so no flash, and then this entire chase sequence, she doesn't even bother using Exhaust. Well, greed is good, I guess. Coming up next, at the high level, when you go for a kill, you blow everything, and I mean everything, but even then, your results may vary. In a whole boatload of trouble, but uh, not quite having Wait. the damage, and Keen will just survive. Uh, never mind. It was a very small boat. It was like a tugboat. Oh, um, here's Pilchik, though, trying to get in on the backside, but the minions are going to troll him, and that's going to be the end of him. Down he will go. First blood.
push the lead, the idea is there, but unfortunately so is Kane and so is Alistar. The one positive is that our bot lane duo was super pushed up into the tower, with a decent sized wave, so they barely make it out alive, but now Yone is here for round 2. Thankfully, that wave and the enemy bot duo is still way down the lane. Thanks so much for watching, that is going to do it for today's episode all on escapes. Remember to leave a like if you did enjoy, and subscribe if you want to see some more. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and have yourself a wonderful day.